Okay, the, this is part two, uh, removal of the flywheel uh, on an EU20i stroke EU2000i. As you can see, I'm going to use a strap wrench to hold the flywheel while I remove the nut. Now I'll explain. This flywheel is um, a pressed steel flywheel um, with magnets on the inside, and this is why it's important that you do not hit it with a hammer. Okay, the nut comes off anti-clockwise. Now, the flywheel itself is held on, um, well, it's a tapered shaft on the shaft, the, the, the crankshaft, so therefore it's, it's a taper shaft fitting with a woodruff key. Okay, we've slackened off that nut, and as you've noticed, I've pulled that to more or less the top of the threaded area of the, the crankshaft. Now, we're going to use a pulling device um, we're going to use the socket we use to slacken off this um, nut um, and then uh, a pulling device using the two bolts we remove from the exhaust. Now I will explain that this procedure you need to be very careful um, because the bolts that you use out of the exhaust are going to be a bit longer but this will depend on the length of your, um, of your socket. So you'll need to take up clearance, you need to use some packing washers in between the bolts uh, from the flywheel and the, um, the, pull, the pulling bar I've actually made there. Now I've drilled this bar out to the same distance as the two holes within the flywheel. Now as I say, be very careful, don't put these in too far because you strike that um, stator uh, you will cause damage and you might need a new stator. So check, you can see underneath how far they're going in. If they're going in too far, get some washers and put some washers in between the bolt heads and the metal bar you're using to pull. Okay, uh, now once you've got the bolts um, down enough, you'll need to wind those in evenly, each one evenly. Um, so don't go down too far one side. We're going to do this nice and even, um, a bolt at a time. Um, now you will hear a crack when the flywheel actually pulls away from the taper. Don't be alarmed by this. All it is is because it's such a tight fit, you know, it's just a sound that is actually made. Plus, um, it's possibly the um, sound where the flywheel is actually hitting the bottom of the, the nut as well, depending on how far you've actually um, pulled it. Right, okay, that's off. You, you'd hear a crack. Right, now you'd think to yourself, okay, I'm going to take the flywheel off now. Well, you'd be wrong, uh, because the magnetism is there. It makes it extremely difficult to take it off. So the best way to, to take this off um, is to take it off as flywheel and stator as a complete lump. Now, if you have a look down the, the um, slots that are in the flywheel, you'll see two bolts holding the stator in place. There they are, one on the left, one on the right. Um, make sure the pulse coils off because that's a clamp for the cables as well. That needs to be off. So these two bolts have got to come out. So you'll need uh, an eight socket for this. They're not in tight. Um, we need to remove these. Okay, they are difficult to get out once you've backed them all off, as you see. Um, so anyway, once um, these bolts are out, we'll be able to lift the flywheel off and the stator as a, a complete lump. The stator is actually on a flange, um, so when you put this back together, you need to make sure the stator goes on. I suggest you actually put the stator and the flywheel on as a complete lump because you will catch your finger. Okay, there it is. You can see the taper. You can just about see a woodruff key there. Make sure you don't lose that. Always check that that's in place. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll push this uh, stator out of the flywheel. You can see the magnets there. It is very, very difficult. As you can see, I'm struggling a bit with it there. To uh, be very careful that it doesn't snap back in. 
does take some pushing, as you can see. I'm shaking with the amount of effort that's needed. There's all the magnets on the fly tacks. Okay, those are the things that normally get broken if you use a hammer. Um, and there's the stator. Okay, that's it. Um, I'll try and put another one up with some other bits. Anyway, take care. Enjoy that. Bye-bye.